Hey everyone, welcome back to Installation 00. I'd like to make an amendment to the video that I made regarding the Mac yields and the amount of energy required to fire them and the inconsistencies in the law pertaining to the velocities of a fired round from a Super Mac, whereby in the fall of reach is referenced at 4% the speed of light. In the more recent book, The Shadows of Reach, there is a reference to 25% the speed of light. And in the Halo Encyclopedia, it was referenced at 40% the speed of light. However, I will yield and say that the max that they're referring to in the more recent book, The Shadows of Reach, that fire at 25% the speed of light, are actually the Series 8 max that are used aboard the Infinity. But my point still stands. The point I was making from that rant video was that the inconsistencies in the lore and the ambiguity on what velocity they are means that the energy requirement in order to fire a Mac is ridiculous to the nth degree. So the point that I was making actually still stands in that regard. I will also say that the relativistic kinetic energy calculator I used actually factors in the Lorentz equations, which center around the idea that the faster a mass goes and the closer to the speed of light it gets, the more proportional mass it apparently carries. This is again somewhat jurisdicted by the E equals mc squared equation, basically meaning that the closer a mass gets to the speed of light, the more apparent mass it gains. So the calculator actually factors in this consideration into the final calculation. But the mistake I made was more glaringly obvious than that. In the calculations, I had the mass of the projectile referenced at 3,000 kilograms, not 3,000 tons. Now it is a 3,000 ton projectile that is fired from the Supermac. So the discrepancy in me saying 3,000 kilograms versus 3,000 tons means there's a basically an 1,000 fold difference between one figure and the other. But as I made abundantly clear in the previous video, it still outlines the fact that the energies at work here are absolutely ridiculous and don't make sense. I'll pop the figure relating to how much energy is consumed here on Earth by all of humanity up in the top right as I did last time, but this time it'll be in gigawatts as opposed to megawatts, just to make the number a little smaller and easier to deal with. Now in the original video, I referenced the idea that the smallest, most conservative value for velocity, the one referenced in the fall of reach, is probably the most likely at 4% the speed of light, although the energy involved is still ridiculous, and in the original video, I equated the amount of energy that would be required to launch a projectile at that velocity versus how much energy here is consumed on Earth. And the result was it would take roughly about the same amount of energy that is consumed here on Earth in three and a half hours to fire a single round from a Super Mac. Well, with the inconsistency between kilograms and tons now rectified, I can adjust that calculation and arrive at this figure which is 59,982,000 gigawatts, which is all of the energy consumed by humanity globally for 134 days, or four and a half months. And that's on the lowest possible value for velocity that has been referenced in the law. That's 4% the speed of light. It would consume the same energy as Earth produces for 134 days to fire a Mac round in an instant. Now again, assuming the projectile size remains about the same for the Series 8 Max for the Infinity, which is the 3000 ton mark, and it's fired at 25% the speed of light, that's quarter of the speed of light. And bearing in mind the Infinity apparently has more advanced technology and thus its Max are more advanced and are able to tap into more energy because they're powered by a hybrid Forerunner Human and Covenant vacuum energy power plant. And if this is the case, then that means the energy required to fire a single round from one of the Series 8 Max, bearing in mind the Infinity has four of them, it would take 2 billion 456,256,995 gigawatts, which is all of the energy consumed on Earth for 5,500 days. That's 15 years of energy consumed here on Earth at present day. 15 years of energy in an instant to fire a single round from a cannon that can fire around every 7 seconds. And the Infinity has 4 of them. 
And finally, let's go the whole hog. Let's run with the Halo Encyclopedia inconsistencies, even though that book is full of inconsistencies anyway. And let's assume that it is actually 40% the speed of light. That would take nearly 7 billion gigawatts, which is all the energy consumed here on Earth for 15,275 days, or 41.8 years. I think we can pretty much rule that one out. We can rule out the 40% completely because it is ridiculous, and the source is unreliable at best. So the two figures we have left is the 4% speed of light for a Super Mac, and the 25% for the Series 8 Mac of the Infinity. And we're still talking about the equivalent energy consumption of four and a half months of continual energy generated here on Earth and 15 years of continual energy generated here on Earth. My point still stands. It was a miscalculation on my part, not, you know, referencing it as being tons instead of kilograms, but it still drives the point home. This is ridiculous levels of energy, and it still drives home the point that we have inconsistencies. I really, really hope that some of these inconsistencies are addressed, because there's there's quite a few of them, and this is probably going to be, well, this is now the second video technically that I've done ranting about the Max specifically being illogical, but it's maybe the third video that I've ranted about something in the Halo universe. Actually, maybe the fourth, because I've ranted about the scale issue in regards to the size of larger and smaller ships, and I've also ranted about the layout of the Pillar of Autumn. So... Yeah, I haven't really gone over the bridge yet. But if you like this kind of content, if you like it when I lose my shit a little bit and start ranting about some inconsistencies, but present at least somewhat logical ideas as alternatives to the inconsistencies we come across, then let me know. I might turn this into a series where I start occasionally ranting somewhat comedically, but also presenting ideas. It, it might become, you know, a series in and of itself. The Zero Zero Rants series. I don't know. If you're up for it, I can do it. If not, it's fine. We can leave it. But my point still stands. 343. Three. You know, if you want to tweak the lore a little bit. Hell, you might you might have already done it. It might be in the Halo Encyclopedia that's launching in March. And if it is, I'll totally cover that in a separate video. But um, if you haven't addressed it in the Halo Encyclopedia, can we get it addressed? Because even if it is 4% the speed of light for the Supermax... At least we could have like a formal confirmation of that, and then I can kind of just work with it then. I'll accept it. I strongly reconsider what you're doing with the Infinity though. I mean, I know the Infinity's likely been destroyed, but they're still the sister ship of Eternity. And the fact of the matter is, at some point or another in the Halo universe, the Series 8 Mac existed. Which fired a 3000 ton projectile, assumedly, at 25% the speed of light. With a bore of 27 meters. Yeah. Okay. That's another video. We're done here. Thanks for watching, commenting, liking, and subscribing. I just want to give a quick shout out to my patrons and YouTube members Spartan10148, my Metarch. Dylan, Falcon X003, Kenwood, Irrefutable Justice, Leon, Neek, and Remiz, my monitors. Alvin, Andrew, Brand, Brian, Cameron, Chris, Darian, Devon, Flaming Halo, Greenblood, Kyle, Legions Lost, Michael, Prophet Bear, Spartan, and Wolf, my sub monitors. My fleet of Strato Sentinels. My diligent enforcers. And all the other awesome people that have jumped aboard to support the channel over at Patreon. Another shout out to Todd Morrison, my transcendent YouTube member. And just one quick reminder to support us on all major social media channels, including Discord. Much love from Zero Zero. Take it easy, everyone, and find peace in the domain. <laughs>